What is Kuala Lumpur known for? Beautiful temples, vibrant markets, oh yeah, and some very impressive skyscrapers. Like all global cities, Kuala Lumpur used this engineering marvels as a symbol of its skyrocketing economy. Taller, hotter, and faster. Near the renowned Petrona Tower, the city's new landmark rises with the city's new target. I'm traveling around the world to visit a league of ambitious new engineering wonders and find out the extraordinary building challenges and the intelligence given to those giants. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> Emerging from a small tin mining town 200 years ago to become the capital of one of the world's fastest growing economies in the 1980s and 90s, Kuala Lumpur is evolving again. Now Malaysia's goal is to become a high-income nation and a fully developed country by 2025, five years earlier than previously planned. That involves building the country's first international finance center, one that it hopes could rival London Hong Kong and Singapore. TRI helps to transform Kuala Lumpur into a global city, helps to improve the city infrastructure, and created a new and vibrant district in the city center. Meet the Tan Rizog Exchange, or TRX. Think of it as a city within a city. They're looking for the biggest names in banking to get them to set up headquarters here. Building an iconic tower is also a part of the plan. The Exchange 106 was designed to be an iconic landmark standing at an impressive height of over 1,600 feet. It's around 492 meters. Engineers need to sink foundation piles into the ground, caping them with a massive thick concrete raft to support the tower. Above ground, workers will cast a central core with an innovative mechanized mode, which allows the giant to be finished in a record-breaking three years. Though without a spire like Petrona Towers, Exchange 106 is topped with a 54-meter high crown, immediately recognizable in the city skyline. Its success is based on the math foundation. The workers get ready to cast the tower's huge vertical core, but as they add each floor level, they will be confined by the lack of space up top. The team needs an innovative solution to turbocharge their race to the roof. Traditionally, to cast a core level, workers construct a wooden panel mold and pour concrete into it. Then they remove the panels, build new scaffolding, and lift the most back up. For a building this tall, that would take years too long. Instead, steel reels attached to the core enable a large, movable platform to carry and climb with the mold sanctions. Workers lock the mold panels during concrete pouring and release them after setting. Hydraulic systems can elevate the platform and repeat upward transport. 第一天是钢筋,第二天就是模板和模,第三天我们就浇筑混凝土了。我们用三天的时间做完一个cycle。I came to Shenzhen where the same team is building another giant with same system. 我们现在这位置有多高? 53,250多米。
爬的话是利用这个导轨。首先我们准备工作的话就是先提升导轨。Those steel panels form the mold for the concrete, and workers need to first to remove them to open up the space for climbing. They install the anchor shoes at the target position and pull up the climbing reel by the hydraulic system until it locks in position. Just like when climber hammer spikes into the cracks of rocks, which they then clip their rope into. Put the rope on the rope. Put the rope on the rope. Then use this air pump to lift the rope up. The whole rope will be lifted up with the rope. The rope will be lifted up with the rope. The climb begins now. The entire platform creeps up with just inches to spare. 顶一层时间大概在两个小时左右。They need to watch out for any sanction of platform or formwork that might catch on the newly formed concrete walls. Eventually. The platform stops. This innovative system pays off, and the climb is a success. But the massive formwork is not the only star of the project. The tower cranes, essential for any high rise, are the lifeblood of the building, getting the material up to the highest parts. Fed by the BZ cranes, the skyscraper soars upwards. One challenge. Is raising the tower cranes fast enough so the core can go up quicker? In the concrete floor, the tower cranes are not alone. They are not just raising the tower cranes together. That means if the cranes stay fixed in place, they will block the tower from rising any farther. Sometimes we will use Revit to make a model, which is to put our tower cranes in place, building each one by one, one by one, and put each time and distance in the right position. 啊，都放在里面，不能出错。这个一旦出了错，啊，你干到那一层时，你就全停下来了。The engineer's solution is to let those giant cranes jump. First, engineers install a new bracket higher up the tower. Two huge tons will firmly hold the crane's body, and hydraulic press raises the crane up. They position the crane on top of the climbing poles so that hydraulic ram can retract to repeat this process and push up again. With those innovative technologies, Kuala Lumpur's new landmark soars to the sky at astonishing speed. The STN106 incorporates sustainable design principle and practice. The commitment to sustainability aligns with the overall vision of the Toraza Exchange Development. 那么它建成之后，就是银行类商业的一个中转，一个枢纽，更有利于马来西亚吉隆坡在于东南亚地区的这种金融的核心的这个一个发展。